Elsewhere, Texas shuts out Toronto 4-0. Mitch Moreland, his 10th blast of the season. Minnesota, a 5-2 win over the Brewers. Not one, but two homers for Torrey Hunter. Gibson, the winner. He's now 5-6. He went 6 and two thirds. He gave up two runs on six hits. Garza takes the loss. He is an unfortunate 4-10. Four, four runs on five hits over six innings. In San Francisco, another tough outing for Tim Lincecum. Just an inning and two-thirds. He surrendered three runs on four hits before being pulled. Fortunately for his Giants, they come from behind to beat the Colorado Rockies 7-5. In Anaheim, the Angels a 4-2 winner over Seattle. Unfortunate note for Robinson Cano. In between innings, he was hit in the head by a stray baseball. He left the game with dizziness. He's cleared of any concussion symptoms. St. Louis takes care of the Cubs rather easily. 8-1 to one the final. Baltimore and Cleveland rained out, as were the Nationals and Phillies in Philadelphia and the White Sox and Tigers in Detroit. On the pitch, Women's World Cup, Japan blanks Aussie 1-0 the final, and England doubles up Canada 2-1. to one. Listen to us on NBCSportsRadio.com or your smartphone, and now Sirius XM channels 202 and 213. I'm Pete Fox, and this is NBC Sports Radio. Bob Vila here with my home improvement tip of the day. How much snow on the roof is too much? That depends a lot on the way your roof was constructed. Steep and smooth roofs tend to shed snow easily, while roofs that are only slightly pitched or flat tend to collect big drifts. Another important factor is the weight of the snow. Removing a heavy snow load can be tricky. If you have a multi-story house, you'd best not be climbing up and down icy cold ladders to dizzying heights. Better to leave that to licensed, insured pros who have the right equipment to get the job done right. On the other hand, if you have a single-story home, you can use a long, telescoping snow rake to pull snow off the roof. One caution, though, rakes that come into contact with shingles can do a lot of damage, so look for sturdy models with small rollers that keep the edge of the rake away from the shingles. Finally, before you start pulling snow off the roof, put some thought into where the snow is going to land. You don't want to damage your plants. Get more info at BobVila.com and right here at home with me, Bob Vila. From the KCAA Weather Center, I'm Rod Tanner. Wrapping up the weekend, there's a slight chance of a morning shower. We'll have a mostly howdy day with a high of 93. Mostly howdy conditions continue tonight. Our low 71 with winds to 20 miles an hour. There's a slight chance of shower and storm activity Monday afternoon. We'll begin the week with partly sunny skies and a high of 96. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms continues into Monday evening. The Unity Party County with an overnight low of 71. We'll have winds gusting to 25 miles an hour. Tuesday should be a partly sunny day. Expect a high of 100. That's your weather forecast for this hour from the station that leaves no listener behind. NBC News Radio, AM 1050, KCAA. Are you working harder than ever at your job, but find yourself getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our free information, you can lead a happier life, work from home, and start earning money as soon as next week. I was a, a traditional business owner, and our business was affected greatly by the economy, so we were looking for another income stream. It allowed me to actually walk away from a 16-year career and part owner in a traditional business just after eight months. Go to freedom105.com, get out of the rat race, work from home, and start earning great money as soon as next week. I'm a single mom. Before this business, I was over $90,000 in credit card debt alone. And now we go to Disneyland, Disney World. We've been on vacations to Hawaii. I never could have done that before this business. Go to freedom105.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 105.com, freedom105.com and start earning great money as soon as next week. Consider this your invitation to sell. At buysellmakeoffer.com, you can sell as much as you want for the next 60 days without paying any fees whatsoever. Sound incredible? It is, and it's true. Buysellmakeoffer.com is the new exciting way to sell your stuff online. Make extra money right now. Sell your old car, furniture, video games, household items, clothes, even your home. Sell anything that's legal. Load up your stuff to sell right now at buysellmakeoffer.com. This is your official invitation to get on board to sell your stuff right now. 
free for the next 60 days. And once you see how easy it is, you'll want to sign up for more because there are no item fees. That's right. Take this opportunity to move items from the other guys and sell it for free. You might even win a Samsung tablet, Amazon gift cards, and other cool prizes. BuySellMakeOffer.com is the future of online selling. You can use Skype to talk to your buyer or seller. Plus, you can use video to showcase your items. BuySellMakeOffer.com Fridays just got fabulous. Don't forget to reserve a seat in the Happy Hour Lounge with Ben and Alexander every Friday at 6 p.m. on KCAA 1050 AM. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Good morning! <laughs> I'm about to say, man, you about to break a speaker over there. Uh, good morning, world. Uh, it is IE Sportsnet, IESportsnet.com. Right here live on NBC Sports Radio, 1050 AM, seen weekly on KVMD TV, Channel 23, Los Angeles. Coach B, how you feeling, man? I'm good. The one and only Coach B and Eternal. I'm feeling good, man. I figured I'd throw you off. I know you like to do a, a set <laughs> intro, so I figured I'd throw you Creature off, of man. Habit. Creature of yeah. habit. Yeah, but I'm, I'm locked in. I'm ready. You, know? you ready to rock and roll, guaranteed, man? Guaranteed, guaranteed. Yeah, man. Today, it's going to be a, a, an incredible show, man. It's, yes. it's, it's ironic how we pack this in, but, uh, you know, we have uh, the – I think this is going to be probably one of the uh, the better teams that we've seen out of Summit in a while. Certainly. Uh, we have our, our running back, of course, Mr. Carr. He's uh, committed to the, you know, the USC Trojans. Yeah, I, I know you like that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's that's like when Mr. we were – I'm going to start calling you Mr. Troy. You know, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's funny because when they were doing the 7-on-7, seven seven, I, I, I went and told the other team, make sure uh, you don't hurt him. Because you know, I don't want uh, I don't want Sarkeesian calling me upset because it was R seven on seven. You know, I don't. You know, this guy's hilarious. you know, no, I was, I, and I know, and, and he's not lying. He did that for real. Absolutely, so, absolutely. This guy's guy crazy. And then we have the quarterback who who it was great to have Car on. He was on our show before, but the quarterback that dominated uh, the IE Sports Net seven on seven won the MVP through. Oh yeah, all he did was throw thirty three touchdowns. Yeah, that was it. it, it Team know, went seven and zero. Certainly, and, and I got it. You know. We were talking about him in the booth when we were we were watching the game, and I was uh, we were talking about hey, you know who, who do you think is out there standing out? And I say yeah, the the quarterback from Summit is. is well, you noticed him because I was up there and yeah. you came up there and you told me. Yeah, so yeah, I said yeah, the guys he's he's he's, uh, he's talented and he's throwing you know and you know and it helps that you have some talented people around you. You know he has a really a talented receiver. We'll talk to him about that, and obviously he has a. A uh, stellar running back, so yeah, so great, co a great coach. I think this is the coach uh, uh, se second year. Certainly, um, you have Al Alloy um, is is out there dominating on on the team as well. You know, I live in Fontana, right? So, so I, I I watch the Fontana teams and I see what they're doing out there, man. Yes, but you know, I mean, the, the football program is going to do well, but we have the the national champion. Uh, cheer program. Go figure that. You know, man. I mean, th and that's a lot. I mean, that's saying quite a bit. That's not saying you know. That's not you know. That's not that's not local. National means national. Yes. Yeah. I mean, can you say four times in a row national champion? Wow, that's that's you know? something. I, I, we got to talk about that. Cause, exactly. Because you know, because they're gonna come in here. We're gonna have to like step our our energy level up. Exactly. They're gonna come in here like you know, ready, set, go. Hey, yeah. You, you know. Be like, I had some coffee win. this morning. Yeah. I had some coffee right, this morning. Right, so they're they, they gonna try you, man. So I think I'm gonna be ready to rock and okay. roll, man. So and then we have Coach Anthony. You out there yesterday? Yesterday. Coach Anthony is going to give us a call at the uh, 845 mark about the what was going on with the Cali Elite. Yeah, so uh, this weekend is a uh, wow, um, really, really epic weekend for us. Um, however, the um, uh, the king of the court is going on, which uh, is, is presented by Cali Elite, and it's going on at uh, Players Edge out there in the great city of Corona. And uh, I was out there yesterday. We'll be out there again today. And again, that's king of the court. It's an AAU tournament. Uh, I mean, these, these guys. Uh, I mean, they they've gotten teams from uh, all over the. Uh, all over the spectrum, man. I mean, you know, people are coming from up north. There's people from out of state. And uh, it's a very competitive uh, tournament they have going on. So, again, that's king of the court. And uh, Coach Anthony from Cali Elite will be calling in later on today. Absolutely. And then, you know, I, I know we have a jam-packed show, but we can get some of our hot topics in, right? Yes, sir. Just a few. You were out there yesterday. You know, uh, the wife, man. I, yeah. The you, wife took me to some picnic yeah. <laughs> with her uh, high school classmates. <laughs> yeah. So so I was out in, in Cerritos yesterday uh, at a at a picnic with her high school classmates. Hey, they hey, got you together, know, so, you sometimes know. you got to do that. You got to smile and kiss the babies. Exactly. You know, it is what it is. So, part of the game. So, you know, I, I said. 
said, you know, I'm, I'm a semi-celebrity. You know, yeah. I mean, if they usually when I come out, I, I get paid. You got to make that. sure you bring that golden <laughs> pen so where you can you can sign some autographs. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, no. Yesterday was uh, again was something really spectacular. Uh, I got in trouble a couple of times out there because you know you, you know I do it. I'm running all up in the garages and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, what yeah. are you doing? Here? I could only imagine. <laughs> you know, yeah. I do it. Uh, but yesterday was the uh, Mav TV uh, 500. And uh, held at the historic Auto Club Speedway in the great city of Fontana. And, uh, wow, we had a, a really great time out there. Mario, uh, Mario Andretti was out there. My man got a chance to get a little selfie with him. I, I was trying to get there. But there were some older women out there that I guess had a little heart, heart throb yeah, thing going some on. Cougars, my man. Huh? Yeah, some cougars. Yeah, cougars. They wasn't, they wasn't going to let the kid go out there and get it. So he saw the cougars out there who ran in front of me, you know what I mean, to get that picture. But uh, no, but it was a, a really uh, epic uh, race. Uh, you know, those cars, man. I mean, you know, it, it's something like, cause you know, when you're on the freeway and people are having problems directing a car going 65 miles right, an hour. Right, right, right. You know, there's the people that can't handle it. Right, right, 65. right. 65. These guys are going 224, 210 miles an hour around, around a curb. You couldn't and get then, me in there. Around a corner, a corner, excuse me. And then they're trying to pass each other up. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. It, it, it takes, I don't know. I guess that takes like something deep, deep, deep inside right, you right, right. To, to, to do that. But I don't have that. You're listening you know. to IE Sportsnet, IESportsnet.com. I couldn't do that. It, 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 it's not for me. Yeah. It, it, it is not for me to go. And But the sad thing is, is, is I'm reading in all the press, and you said that you saw this, is tra- the new track president, Dave Allen, was saying that this may be the last uh, open wheel race at the Speedway. Certainly, and, and I think it's for good reason. Uh, what he was saying is, you know, again, they're really concerned about their fan, their fan base, and, and what was happening is, you know, anytime you have, uh, you know, you have fans out there, you know, and you've been to that place before, man, it, it gets hot out uh-huh. there it gets very very hot and and they're saying that they're not really getting the, the fan support there's a lot of people that want to support it but they're not coming because again the, the heat is out there so they're hoping that they can start pushing that back some maybe like in october uh around memorial day so that way they can start kind of attracting the, the fan base that uh that it deserves yeah dave allen was quoted as saying we need to be fair to our fans he said if he gets another date in june july or august he won't take it um he said he won't take it so he said if, unless it's a date in september october or later in the year after labor day he, he said he will not do another uh summer date and you know i don't know how that works because i know those races are planned a year in advance yes you know and what what, what i don't understand i guess maybe and we talked to joe about this um maybe the long beach because the long beach always seems so successful yeah, i don't yeah. understand the well, difference well, well, the, well the difference about that is long beach doesn't have the same heat issue that's very true it's you're right getting, there on the you're water. getting you're getting the the, the cooler air so you're gonna, you know i mean long beach is, a, is an ideal place to be at right right um so it's difficult i mean like you know, I think for the uh, for the people, for the racers, and for the uh, the people that are, are associated with the race, it's not too big of a challenge. But for the fans, right? You know, you're out there. I mean, those things. It's two hours, and you're just out there sitting out there sunbaking. You know, me, I, already, I, I have a natural suntan. I run <laughs> yeah. up out there, man. You know, the sun has been kind to me, very, very too kind in some areas. I hear. You know what I mean, but but you know, uh, but but you know, but but the thing about it is, uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. I mean, you know, it, it's you know, I enjoy the, the right. race. It just, I, I agree with it. You you need to make sure that you're. Uh, you're putting it. I mean, you're taking the fans into account, and uh, a cooler situation would be ideal. I agree because you think about it. The, another thing that the advantage that Long Beach has, and I've always wanted to go to do it. I'm not a race fan, but they have the celebrity event. Yeah, and they, I mean, they really maybe because you know it's the Speedway. You know, they have events year round, right? So, right. and NASCAR is their bread and butter. Yes, but Long Beach, that's all they have is that Long Beach race. So yeah. they put a lot into it. Yeah, you know, well, you know, the Auto Club Speedway does a really good job. I mean, they, you know, when, when like for instance, when you go out there, they got the go karts going. They had concerts right. out there. They had the skateboarders out there. They had a um, they had a wine tasting that was really so. They're trying did you to get anyone. I did not get any wine because oh, I was busy. I you was were busy. talking about that. I was talking about the wine. You I wanted the wine. Worked? I, I was. Yeah. Isn't that so? Go figure. Wait, the day I'm there, you, you know know what? I'm there, you always put the work on me. Let, let me stop lying. You know, you know what I was really doing? And, <laughs> I, and I'll be candid with you because I saw my man out there. He was working. Uh, I was watching him in an air-conditioned window. Uh-huh. Because, you know, I was in there. You, I, I know you saw that, right? I was in a very air-conditioned situation drinking some uh, drinking some very cold water. And, you know, another thing on the side <laughs> note, what I like about Indy, the food is no problem. Oh, NASCAR yeah. is 25 bucks man, for press. Man, what? man, look. They, were, they, they, had, they had the food for it and they had some water. Yeah. I was cool. I was in there relaxing, watching my man out there doing the thing. It was very hot. It was working. very, very, very out hot. Yeah, so I was out there, yeah, like, yeah, hey, you know, so. <laughs> it's all good, man. Yeah, so, uh, we, we they got us, uh, we got to take a quick commercial break. And we, when we get back, once again, the four time consecutive national champion, uh, Summit High Cheer, will be in here. We, we got we to talk about it. That, that's something, right? That, there, that is. That is. Deal. You're listening to IE Sports Net Radio with Coach B. And Eternal, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Powered by IE 
NBCSportsNet.com on NBC Sports Radio 1050 AM. And seen weekly on KVMD TV, Channel 23, Los Angeles. No college degree and mid-career? Make the choice that can make a difference this year with an ITT Technical Institute near you. At ITT Tech, we offer programs of study in fields including information technology, electronics technology, drafting and design, business, criminal justice, nursing, and the growing field of health sciences. And now, ITT Tech is helping reduce the cost of education with a new ITT Tech Opportunity Scholarship. The scholarship can help lower your education costs dramatically. We've always believed pursuing an education is a sound investment and now with the itt tech scholarship education could be in your future to find out more about the opportunity scholarship at itt tech for yourself just call 800-989-1705 that's 800-989-1705 with the itt tech opportunity scholarship now it's your turn 800-989-1705 how are we doing for more information about graduation rates the median debt of students who completed the program please visit programinfo.itt-tech.edu Hurt or injured in a car accident? It can be hard to take the proper legal action after a car accident, but waiting can cost you more. The law requires car accident victims to assert claims promptly. You could lose out by simply waiting. Call 800-908-2952 right now to see what your claim could be worth when handled by a skilled attorney. With a lawyer fighting and speaking up for you, you could be entitled to a big cash award. Call 800-908-2952. That's 800-908-2952. Now it's fast and easy to connect with the legal help you need after your car accident. Call 800-908-2952. The call is free, but you need to act now before time runs out on your claim. You need a lawyer to fight for you, protect you, and get you the compensation you need and deserve. Time's wasting. Call 800-908-2952. That's 800-908-2952. Call now. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-0314 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-0314 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-0314. That's 1-800-516-0314. Again, 1-800-516-0314. Yes, we are back. IE Sportsnet, IESportsnet.com, right here live on NBC Sports Radio, 1050 AM, seen weekly on KVMD TV, Channel 23, Los Angeles. My man, Coach B, how you feeling, sir? I, I'm good, man. You always forget to introduce yourself. Coach B and the one and only uh, Eternal. Well, you, you know, know well, hold on, brother. That, oh. that's, that's, <laughs> You know, it's, it's the teamwork makes the dream work. There you, it, go. you know, and we couldn't ar- we couldn't uh, uh, articulate that better than having uh, the the special guest that we do um, today in the studio. And uh, uh, you know, when, we, when you think of the concept of team, <clears throat> I know I get a chance to watch, and I'm always captivated by you know when you see ESPN, they have the national the national cheer competition right, out right. there, and they're they are not playing. No, I mean, not at all. They're doing even some, starting at the youth level. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. a real deal, and, they, and they're smiling the whole way, which would which would be a challenge for me. And you know, some of the things they do has got to be painful. Oh, you guarantee? You. Yeah. So yeah, and you got to keep smiling. So you uh-huh. know what I mean? And then people are getting tossed in the air. There's flips going on. Right, it's, right. It's, it's music. There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, but you know, I digress. And, uh, and 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 just just keep on that. And and you know, we're talking about cheer. And we're gonna have cheerleaders. And keep your point. But I mean, they weight lift. They do all the things. And and for them not to be considered a sport, it's 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 just I don't think it's it's personal. You know, my daughter's a cheerleader, so I mean, I'm passionate. Yeah, that's why I say you got. So you, you know, 
Not at the high school level, but you know, <laughs> as a matter of fact, my daughter texted me and she said she's very disappointed with today's show because Uh-oh. she's a uh, she's going to be a sophomore at Etiwanda High okay. School. And uh, she's upset with me. Hey. So, but I mean, this hey. is Summit's day. D- there you know? it is, man. Big up. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So but, I digress. <laughs> yeah, there it is. If you would please, uh, sir, be so kind as to introduce yourself. And I know you you brought some folks with you. And then we can uh, do the formal introduction to the IE Sports Net audience. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, my name is Oops. Jesse Serta. I'm the head coach at Summit High School for cheerleading. And I brought some of some guests. There we go. There we go. So start again, man. Your mic wasn't yeah, your high. Mic, Let's have you <laughs> start again. Can you please do that right. one more time? Sorry about Let's that. rewind. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My name is Jesse Serta. I'm the head coach for Summit Cheerleading in Fontana, and I brought some guests with me today. Some of our national champion cheerleaders right here behind me who are going to introduce themselves right now. All right. Miguel Rivera. I'm Ariana Law. Gabrielle Nelson. Uh, Angel Moreno. You know, and it feels like Soul Train. It really does. It <laughs> feels like Soul Train. Like, you know, when Don Cree used to come out there and go, hey, you know, all right, introduce the group you guys have with you. Well, you know, it's, you know. <laughs> so that's always good. National champ. My man brought the ice out. Big ring on it. I mean, how much does that thing weigh, man? Is it five, what, five pounds? It's, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's yeah, heavy. it's heavy. Don't and you've got four of them. I got four. You got four of them. That's what I'm talking about, man. So, uh, uh, Coach, again, congratulations. Uh, thank you guys for coming out nice and bright and early. Maybe you can talk about uh, – uh, the tradition you guys kind of have going on at Summit because that's that's obviously when you come in as a freshman or if you're coming in to try to uh, insert yourself into the cheerleading squad, obviously, you know, there's there's a there's a certain president that's sent there. So maybe you can kind of talk about that and kind of talk about where you guys have been and where you are currently. Definitely, definitely. Well, at Summit, I would have to say it's definitely like a family feel. We got support from our athletic department. We got our trainer. We got our athletic director. Our administration gives us a lot. So our admin team uh, definitely supports us a lot. Uh, we also have. Hey, we'll switch mics. Now. All right, that's All right, good. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't need. Eternal don't need a mic. <laughs> yeah, I can work it out. <laughs> hey, right. Sorry about that, sir. Excuse uh, me. Oh no, it's fine. So we got a big support system at Summit, and that that's what makes us successful. Is like I said, our admin, our, our athletic department, trainers, athletic director, everybody who kind of pushes us, and our parents, and especially these kids. Yeah. You know, m- none of these kids really came from, or a lot of them didn't come from a cheer background. So they start cheering at Summit, and we got develop from there. A student. Uh, student athletes so um i think that's one of the special things about our program is we develop student athletes from the beginning and they grow with us for four years so. fantastic and that's amazing because it's I, that's a, a that takes me to a different question that i was going to ask you because now because I, I have a lot of uh, friends that, that get with the uh the cheer programs i can't even think of the, the name of the youth programs but i mean they're intense they're yeah. in vegas they're in, in, <laughs> in texas they're all over they got these big bags they take around too man yeah, it's always yeah. like it's a real deal oh, yeah. so that that that's a testament to you and your coach coaching because uh, Summit High School is the only team in Fontana to bring a national championship and four consecutive national championships. What is it about your program that that, that develops uh, y- your cheer that way to, to do that because they don't have a, a cheer background? I would have to say we just push these kids. You know, they believe in, this, in themselves. They believe in the name of Summit. When they put on that uniform, they're, they're another kid. Yeah, so, I heard that. The Skyhawks. Man. Yeah, the Skyhawks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, th- that's something. So we can, let, let's, talk to the, uh, let's talk to the folks in the cheer squad. How do you feel about it? How how was it for you when you guys know that hey, you guys are gonna you guys are play, you know you guys are cheering for a, a national uh, champ or excuse me a national championship uh, a, a team and then also coming into it understanding that you guys are gonna be participating on a high level. Honestly, it's just uh, once you come in, you feel like you have to prove yourself. You know, coming in there, seeing that as a freshman that a team before you has won, it gives you that sense of. I need to spread my school and present it how it's been presented before. Right. And working in hard with everybody else, working, keeping that family together, that bond, just really keeping that focus that started the program to keep winning. That's, right. that's a good deal, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now, uh, now, now, talk to us about how you how you get to the championship, the national champion. What's the process of, of, of going through that? All right, so we have to first qualify. So all schools in the area qualify for the nationals, and it's held in Anaheim every year. So um, – from qualifying from the regionals, we usually compete around December. Okay. And then we have until March to get our act together and make our routine and everything look the way it's supposed to look so that we're ready for the real competition. Certainly. And that's in March. Certainly. So it takes a long process. Like I said, cheer is a year-long sport. Right. So these kids are working from summer all the way until the next summer and never wow. ends for them. So wow. So it yeah. really, I mean, the work starts now with lifting, conditioning, training, and, and everything they need starts now. So. Certainly. And, you know, I, I misspoke because for the fact that uh, – you guys won four consecutive titles, but last year, JV and Varsity both won a national championship? This past wow. year, we brought two home wow. for the first That's time something. ever. Wow. Something. <laughs> so maybe, so, so, so uh, to the, we'll talk to the ladies over here, because they're, they're, they're very quiet over here, which, is, which I'm certain is rare for, for, the, for, the, for the cheer team. Uh, 
talk to us about in terms of developing the, 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 the routine. How does that process work for you guys? Developing a routine. Well, we all have to put in all of our talents because our team is very talented. So first we start off with everyone. We ask, like, who could do this, who could do that. We all just put it together. It starts off a little shaky, and then once we hit it, it looks strong and powerful, and we look amazing. Wow. So yeah, you're listening to IE Sportsnet, IESportsnet.com. But uh, they must be doing something right. Guaranteed. I mean, to win. To win uh, and I'm, so, I'm, I'm thank you, Coach, for not correcting me when I, when I misspoke and said that <laughs> four championships. He's like, no, five. <laughs> He's like, oh, I got all of them. I got no, all of them. No, six, because you, you get the, uh, the, uh, the JV team as well, even though I know you probably don't directly. Yeah, he said that's five. Yeah, that's okay, five. Okay. That's five. Well, okay. you take credit. You're the head coach. You know? Guaranteed. Usually when you're the head coach, you, you coach every program. So. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. So now, what's coming up for you guys? What, what's what's next? Obviously, you guys now are, are, are you know, the summertime. You guys are preparing. What's what's the next step, and what do you guys have going on? You know what? We're re- rebuilding the team all summer. We lost about 19 seniors this year. Oh wow! So we're going in. Um, it's not. That's definitely not new to our program. The year before, we lost 22. So okay. We're wow. kind of used to that and developing our kids from the start. So wow. every year we lose our seniors and we move our JV team up and they're ready wow. to go. So wow, that's, that's amazing, exciting. man. That's because exciting. you 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 think about that. Because usually when the studs in, in football or basketball, you know, you might have them from a sophomore, yeah. junior your senior but every year you guys are just replacing so you probably have kids that are coming specifically to summit for for cheer now i would have to say some of them do i mean yeah. that's why they want yeah. to be there you yeah know, from the schools in fontana some of the kids choose to either transfer in or just be at our school for right. the program so and that's the thing people don't think about with the impact of cheer and, and let me know about this coach because uh, one uh, it's it's a sport it, it, i don't care what anyone says but but beyond that um have you had any girls matriculate or even boys to get scholarships and go on and, and compete at the uh, the collegiate level? We have a lot of kids competing right now in college. Nice. A lot of our you know kids from UCLA to we don't the have to Cal talk about States. That. We don't <laughs> <laughs> a, a, he, this guy's a Troy guy. You can, I mean I know he has on a white shirt, so but there's like Wanda a, and USC. Ooh. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here, man. I know, but but no, that that is that's excellent. I mean, again, and then that's obviously a, a testament to your coaching ability. Now, in terms of from a coaching perspective, coach. Um, you know how how was it for you in terms of what is your mindset going into the to the new season? I mean, what is, in terms of obviously you have to prepare a certain way as well. You know what our philosophy at Summit is always to make sure our kids feel successful, and you know we always start our kids going into any competition that. You know, sometimes cheerleading is subjective, so we always mm-hmm. say we want to get our video. It's right. always about making us look good, a video that they can see, you know, 20, 40, 50 years from now, show nice. their kids and be a proud of. Right. You know, no one's going to remember the title or whatever it was, but you're going to remember that video that you see and you can show and be proud of. Right. right. Now, I want to ask, I want to keep your attention. So, I want to ask you a question. In, in, introduce yourself again. Angel Moreno. Okay, what 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 grade are you in? Um, I graduated. Okay, okay. So let me ask you this: How did it feel when you when you uh, you can leave that legacy of leaving a national championship at your uh, school? It feels amazing to. I was on the team uh, for I was on the varsity team for three straight years. So how many so championships did you do you have? I have three. Uh, so he's like, he's like, he's like, well, he's like, well, I can like, you know, I do this for a uh, living. Let me ask you: I mean, well, How I, was your first national championship? Well, you the never. First one probably tasted the best because I mean, then after towards the end, you just get hungry and hungry, and then you. You do not want to lose. Right, like, right. Y'all like the Chicago Bulls or something <laughs> yeah. like that, a cheer the game, Lakers, man. The Lakers. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, the Lakers, right. come on. Get it right. right. Get it right. Yeah. <laughs> you got one team right. Yeah, yeah right. No, we are, we are, we are all Lakeshore around this joint. That's, yeah, one, thing, that's one thing That's one thing that we do have. We have a collective. Dodgers, so. yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. So yeah. That, but, uh, again, <laughs> congratulations, uh, uh, squad. You guys uh, obviously, uh, you know, start obviously from the, you know, the coaching and coming in and, the player, I mean, the, the 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 everybody that's involved are 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 adhering to the to the to the direction you guys are going, man. So it's a, it's, a, it's really it's a it's good to see you guys are that are doing well and representing the Inland Empire. That's that's good to see. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, so we we thank you again, Coach Summit High School Cheer. Five-time national champions. Uh, they won four in a row. The only team in Fontana to bring a national championship. So we appreciate you guys man. coming in. I, I expected them to come in cheering. Like I don't know. Uh, I yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's good though. That, it, it's you know they're very reserved. But I, I I guarantee when the lights come on, I bet they're they kicking in. I bet they kicking in, which, which is a good thing. That's Absolutely. good. Absolutely. So you're listening to IE Sports Net Radio with Coach V and Eternal, the Inland Empire Sports Authority, powered by IESportsNet.com, NBC Sports Radio, 10:50 a.m. and Scene Weekly. On KBMD TV, Channel 23, Los Angeles. No college degree, no college.
college degree and mid-career? Make the choice that can make a difference this year with an ITT Technical Institute near you. At ITT Tech, we offer programs of study in fields including information technology, electronics technology, drafting and design, business, criminal justice, nursing, and the growing field of health sciences. And now, ITT Tech is helping reduce the cost of education with a new ITT Tech Opportunity Scholarship. The scholarship can help lower your education costs dramatically. We've always believed pursuing an education is a sound investment. And now, with the ITT Tech Scholarship, education could be in your future. To find out more about the Opportunity Scholarship at ITT Tech for yourself, just call 800-898-1705. That's 800-898-1705. With the ITT Tech Opportunity Scholarship, now it's your turn. 800-898-1705. How are we doing? For more information about graduation rates, the median debt of students who completed the program, please visit programinfo.itt-tech.edu. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-0314 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-0314 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-0314. That's 1-800-516-0314. Again, 1-800-516-0314. Hurt or injured in a car accident? It can be hard to take the proper legal action after a car accident, but waiting can cost you more. The law requires car accident victims to assert claims promptly. You could lose out by simply waiting. Call 800-908-2952 right now to see what your claim could be worth when handled by a skilled attorney. With a lawyer fighting and speaking up for you, you could be entitled to a big cash award. Call 800-908-2952. That's 800-908-2952. Now it's fast and easy to connect with the legal help you need after your car accident. Call 800-908-2952. The call is free, but you need to act now before time runs out on your claim. You need a lawyer to fight for you, protect you, and get you the compensation you need and deserve. Time's wasting. Call 800-908-2952. That's 800-908-2952. Call now. Yes, we are back. IE Sportsnet, IESportsnet.com, right here live on NBC Sports Radio, 1050 AM, seen weekly on KVMD TV, Channel 23, Los Angeles. In the house, my man Coach B, how you feeling, sir? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Coach B, eternal. You know, my daughter, she texted me. She said she's actually okay with Summit Cheer. You she's know? Not, so, well, you, so, you, you, so, well, you have to be. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, know, so. I mean, they're national, they're national champs. I exactly. mean, hey, you know, the hey, champ is here. The That's why I just wanted to play. Respect the, the champ crown. is here. Respect the crown. <laughs> yeah. you know? And he comes in with the ring. Yeah, you know he, what he, I mean? My man had it. My, the, the other guy had his ring on his pinky. He's, oh. he was like, ah, <laughs> it was heavy. His hand was kind of heavy. Absolutely. But, you know, I'm excited, man. We, I mean, we have a young gentleman here. No introduction needed you know this is probably going to be you know i don't want to blow them up but looking at that seven on Certainly. seven and you know what it's funny because when we did the ie sports net seven on seven at ab miller we were sitting there looking at the teams and whatnot yep. and there was one team that you kept saying you were consistently impressed with just yeah. from top to bottom Without a i doubt. mean and the running back you said you, you it's it's rare you see a seven on seven where a running back breaks for 50 yards I, that was incredible yeah that was that was something two hand I, touch yeah so to explain this uh, to explain it seven on seven is two hand touch right you know what well, i mean well, I think almost one hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. it's like well, it, it, well, Kate, you can tell us how. What, what is that? Well, hold on. Well, it, it, but, 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 let's 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 dive in. We got a little excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got a little excited. Uh, 
please do us a, uh, the courtesy, man, of introducing yourself to the IE Sportsnet audience, please. Sure, sure. Uh, Cade Sparks, quarterback, 2016 at Summer High School. Man, now, now, what, what a name. But, Cade but Sparks, man. He is the MVP yeah. of the IE Sportsnet 7-on-7 seven seven after throwing 33 touchdowns and impre- impressing and the one and only internal. So I digress. Let yeah. me step back. Guarantee. <laughs> you know, uh, what I saw as, as we were talking about, um, you know, no, no, let us know. So is it one is it one hand touch? How does it work in terms of seven on seven? How does it work? It's one hand touch. So okay. one hand touch. So, so it is one hand. So touch. so that's okay. even that's even that's even worse. So my man skated fifty <laughs> yards and didn't get touched one time with, with even one hand. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so no, what, what I noticed uh, out there, and as you were mentioning, top to bottom, I thought that uh, Summit was very well coached. Number one. Um, I saw the way that the, uh, the the coach commanded attention mm-hmm. without doing a lot. You know, with you know, certain coaches got to do, got to got to do, got to be extremely animated to kind of command the attention of the players. And I didn't, I didn't see that. I saw that he had command of the players. And then even more over when I saw him actually perform, you know, my man here, you know, is, is the long ball. I, it, it looked like Randy, Ma- it looked like some Randy Moss kind of stuff going on out there with the long with him and his, the connection he had with the receiver out there. And then um, you get to see they had a really good balance, the short yards, uh, and again the long ball. It was it was really nice to see that. So I kept coming up to Booth going, he was like, "Hey, who's doing it?" I thought, "Man, Summit." And I was like, "You know, Summit looks good." So so yeah. So uh, so t- talk to us, man. Let us know uh, uh, the, the the process, how you went. You said you had to transfer and sit out, so maybe you can talk. You know, start from there. Yeah, um, I had a transfer. I decided to transfer last year, at the beginning of the year. So I got Summit late June. I knew that I had to sit out for the first five games. It was you know. Something I was willing to pay in order for this year. Certainly. Knew that this year was going to be the year that I had to do it all. So I'm looking right. forward to it. Can't wait to get out on the field. Certainly. Right. right. Now, now I'll ask you, you, you know, speaking of football, just looking at your history, you said you were, you, you've played since you were eight. Yes. And you were inspired by your brother. What's your brother's name? Drew Sparks. Drew Sparks. Did he play? He did. He did. Where, where did he play at? He, uh, he played at Western Christian High School. And then okay, went, I know about Western Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. he went to Laverne, and then that's where he ended his career because he uh, tore his plantar fascia in his foot. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a bench warmer, so I don't understand <laughs> injuries. You know, <laughs> I get splinters in my, yeah, you know, I can tell it. you about the splinters I got in my butt, but, you know, those were my injuries, you know. But you said you want a state championship when you were 11? Yes, sir. What, on what team? It was a flag travel team that we did. Uh, we were just a team put together, a bunch of guys. We were the Gators is what we were. Wow. Yeah. So, you, I mean, you you used to win in shit. I yeah. mean, what, what is, what, yeah, what's I going saw, on over at Summit? Summit? Man, they, they got this thing going on like, you know, you know, if put winner next yeah. to that. <laughs> if, if, if winner is applicable, then you're the all, Summit you're, Winter Hawks. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, we were talking uh, uh, off air uh, about your team. Maybe you can kind of talk about your team and why you, you know, why you were excited to come to because that that's rare that a quarterback, especially of your caliber, mm-hmm. that wants to come somewhere and say, "Hey, I'm willing to sit out." That's a leader. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. willing to sit out in order to kind of get myself ready for next year. So maybe you can kind of talk about your team and why you thought that was going to be an advantage for you to do that to come to Summit. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I came to Summit knowing that you know if I want to make it to the next level, I got to start playing at the next level because I knew they were a higher division than when I came from. But I wasn't aware of the talent that I was going to be exposed to. <laughs> right, you know? right. I didn't yeah. know I'd be playing with guys, you know, like Damian Alloway and Stephen Carr, who have all these offers. So it was great, great experience to be able to come and know that I got to, you know, step my game up and rise to the level. So. Certainly, Stephen Carr is committed to USC. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this guy right here, man. This guy the like, guy that we've had he, on the show. He, is, has, yeah. an, he has an effect. He, you'll learn that he has an a USC affection. Uh, Maybe you can talk about that because again, I, I know that it, what I noticed is that you, you know, and, and get, you know, uh, you know, you never know what's going on behind the scenes. But what I did notice is that you, it looked, seemed like you had a really good chemistry with your teammates, and then obviously and the I, coach, I, I, yeah. and the, exactly what, what I really saw something with the coach. But talk about that because again, you said the, you, you mentioned two guys that have some offers. How was it working with those guys, even though they had the offers, and you know, you being the quarterback, you're coming in kind of new. How was it kind of like? How are they accepting you, and how is it working with them? You know, chemistry is a big thing, especially for me, trying to, you know, get on page not only with those guys but with all the other receivers we have. We have a lot of receivers who are really talented. So the biggest thing for me, you know, you got to build a relationship with them off the field. Right. And when you step in, you got to let them know, you know, I'm ready to take charge. I'll right. be the leader. You guys follow me. Right. So that that's just – that's been my mentality. Build a relationship off the field and when, on, when you're on the field – Everything comes together. It just clicks. Certainly. And one thing that I've noticed, I mean, we saw some teams out there that just weren't as organized. Right. And, and, and one thing I can say about the team, yeah, you guys went 7-0. and You threw 33 touchdowns. You guys dominated the entire pro- uh, process. But your coach, I, I, that guy has command of your team. Guarantee. Um, young I, I, guy. Young guy, too. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's a Fontana guy. He, he, he played at Full High, coached at Full High. Now he's at Summit. Um, what is it like to have – I know you said that you're, you're at a bigger school in a bigger division. What is it like to have – it, it looks like when you guys are talking, 
it's more like you're an assistant coach out there because you guys are having – I've watched you guys because when, when, when Eternal kept coming to tell me about this summit, summit team, <laughs> I said, let me go take a look. But right. it, you guys had conversations, and it looked like you had the ability to give your input. And you got – because I've seen – I've been around coaching long enough where you see coaches just – Hence Coach B. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. You have some coaches that just don't get it. When Your, your quarterback is, is your coach out on the field. What is that like with you and Coach? You know, it's great. Coach Matheny is a great guy, and he – everyone knows that he's the man. Yeah, yes. But at, at the same time, he trusts us enough to where if we got something we see that's going on, something that can work, a connection that can be made on the field, he trusts us to make the decision. So it's easy to go up and talk to the guy because we both see each other from a different uh, view, and we have great respect for him. Good Fantastic. Deal. Now talk about this. Now, now, now this cheer team we just had in there. So <laughs> a, as a player, what does it feel like? You got the national championship cheer squad Cheering out there. Cheering for you. Sitting yeah. on there yeah. going yeah, out there going silly for you every, in the stands. Every you know what Friday. I mean? Yeah, every Friday. <laughs> That's something. I mean, you know, because already, like I said, you know, as Brian, as Coach B alluded to, we weren't the most talented athletic guy. Not at all. First, Not at all. And I think, it was, I think it was a reason because, as I mentioned, if I would have scored a touchdown, I might have jumped the fence and ran yeah. on the freeway or something like that because <laughs> you know I you know I, you know I would have just been on one that to that level. Uh, but maybe you can kind of talk about uh, your, your cheer squad because that, obviously that's a good thing. You guys got a, a, a obviously an enthusiastic cheer squad as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our cheer squad is <laughs> they're amazing. I didn't when I first came to Summit, I didn't know how you know I wasn't big on cheer, and then I right. realized national champions four times <laughs> yeah. in a row. You know, yeah, yeah, that, that gives a football team something that we got to step up. You know, we there gotta, it is. We I'm sure they walk around. They walk around showing that. Guarantee, oh, yeah. Yeah. definitely, yeah. Yeah. definitely, yeah. guarantee. So, uh, so, so again, uh, coming into this year. Uh, maybe uh, first thing first, is, uh, are there some games you know, when you look at – because obviously you've seen the schedule. Tie gate. Uh, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Yeah, exactly. So, so Everything's got to have a gate on it. Guaranteed. You know, guaranteed. Tie gate was guaranteed. last year. Yeah. Guaranteed. <laughs> so, so, so I know that – are there some games that you that you have circled on the schedule? Now, I know – I know, I know – Team wise, you know, you know, I'm not supposed to do that, but you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. But are, are there some teams you go, oh, I can't, you know, I, I'm looking forward to that one. I, I look forward to every game, and I want to go out there and win every game. But there's definitely, you know, there's definitely some boys out there that we're going for. Yeah, I know we're, he, we're head hunting for some guys. So. You're listening to IU Sportsnet, <laughs> IUSportsnet.com. I know you can't say it because we don't want to give bulletin board material, but I, I'm sure the Etiwanda game and the Kaiser game will be will be definitely. big ones. Yeah. Do you guys play foe? Yes, we do. Okay, so, so that's that. You know, I think all four of the teams should play each other. You yeah, know, because I know AB or five. I'm sorry, five yeah, teams yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. in Fontana. So yeah, yeah. Go figure that, man. So and, and then for you, how was it? Because uh, we didn't get a chance. We talked to you about that seven on seven tournament. Uh, for you, how was it going out there performing at that level? At an MVP level. Yeah, guarantee. And, and you know, and again, it was well deserved. I mean, you know, we we uh, thirty three touchdowns. You. Yeah, certainly. seven and zero. Oh. Certainly, <laughs> this guy got it written down. He got it jotted down on his arm there. Uh, but talk to us about uh, kind of coming in there and what the what the uh, what the mindset was going in there and, and and how you felt about the results. Absolutely. Well, my first mindset, something that Coach Matheny had really you know instilled in all of us, whether it's in the weight room or off the field, is to leave no doubt. You know, we got to go out there that. each day and, you know, people need to know who we are. You know, I go out there and I try to be great every day. I don't settle for being good. I heard so that. So my mindset's definitely go out there and be great because, you know, it said good is the enemy of great. So right. I like that. I'm going <laughs> to use that one, man. Yeah, you that's have, good. You have to fight on. Yeah, yeah guarantee. You, know? you have but to you fight know, on, man. I, I, I tell you. <laughs> then you, know, you see, I got to fight right. on out of them. So, <laughs> you know. See? Uh, but, no, but I, one thing I could tell you, uh, and, and, again, I, I, I've been impressed with you throughout the course of this interview, but one thing I was impressed with was, uh, was your command on the field and, and what you're you. saying because a lot of people will say some stuff and you it, it doesn't translate on the field, whereas mm – -hmm. You know, before we saw, you know, before we got a chance to interview you, we got a chance to see you on the field. And, and what you're saying is, is, is consistent with what we saw on the field right. in terms of being right. a leader, um, under, you know, going out there, looking to be great. You know, I, I saw you trying to, you know, a lot of things that you were doing on there, like normal quarterbacks, would, you know, wouldn't do. Because, again, you're, you're trying to, you know, you're pushing, you're pushing the envelope. Mm -hmm. So that was noticeable. Uh, so again, yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we're I was telling Coach B like, I, I really, I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to seeing them, uh, you know, in the fall, so I can kind of see, you know, how that, how that all translates on the field when you got when the pads get on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. So we want to thank you so much for coming in, bright and early. Uh, we look, like you said, we look forward to seeing you this year once again. The starting quarterback from the Summit High, Summit High School Skyhawks, Mr. Cade Sparks. So thank you so much for coming thank you for in. Having me. Yeah, absolutely. Now, real quick, do you guys play Upland? No, we don't play Upland. Okay, so so the only way you guys will play Upland is, is if, if some stuff happens and you guys you know and you guys meet us somewhere in the offs, right? Oh yeah, there yeah. it is. And he's like, oh yeah, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. I like this guy. He got a got a winner's mentality, and that's what it's all about, man. 
There Congratulations. You there you, you go. You. You're listening to IE Sportsnet Radio with Coach B. And Eternal, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Powered by IESportsnet.com on NBC Sports Radio, 1050 AM. And seen weekly on KVMD TV, Channel 23, Los Angeles. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-0314 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-0314 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-0314. That's 1-800-516-0314. Again, 1-800-516-0314. Hurt or injured in a car accident? It can be hard to take the proper legal action after a car accident, but waiting can cost you more. The law requires car accident victims to assert claims promptly. You could lose out by simply waiting. Call 800-908-2952 right now to see what your claim could be worth when handled by a skilled attorney. With a lawyer fighting and speaking up for you, you could be entitled to a big cash award. Call 800-908-2952. That's 800-908-2952. Now it's fast and easy to connect with the legal help you need after your car accident. Call 800-908-2952. The call is free, but you need to act now before time runs out on your claim. You need a lawyer to fight for you, protect you, and get you the compensation you need and deserve. Time's wasting. Call 800-908-2952. That's 800-908-2952. Call now. No college degree and mid-career? Make the choice that can make a difference this year with an ITT Technical Institute near you. At ITT Tech, we offer programs of study in fields including information technology, electronics technology, drafting and design, business, criminal justice, nursing, and the growing field of health sciences. And now, ITT Tech is helping reduce the cost of education with a new ITT Tech Opportunity Scholarship. The scholarship can help lower your education costs dramatically. We've always believed pursuing an education is a sound investment. And now, with the ITT Tech Scholarship, education could be in your future. To find out more about the Opportunity Scholarship at ITT Tech for yourself, just call 800-989-1705. That's 800-989-1705. With the ITT Tech Opportunity Scholarship, now it's your turn. 800-989-1705. How are we doing? For more information about graduation rates and median data of students who completed the program, please visit program info itt-tech.edu no college degree and mid-career make the choice that can make a difference this year with an itt technical institute near you at itt tech we offer programs of study in fields including information technology electronics technology drafting and design business criminal justice nursing and the growing field of health sciences and now itt tech is helping reduce the cost of education with a new itt tech opportunity scholarship the scholarship can help lower your education costs dramatically we've always believed pursuing an education is a sound investment and now with the itt tech scholarship education could be in your future to find out more about the opportunity scholarship at itt tech for yourself just call 800-898-1705 that's 800-898-1705 with the itt tech opportunity scholarship now it's your turn 800-898-1705 how are we doing for more information about graduation rates the median data of students who completed the program please visit programinfo.itt-tech.edu Yes, we are back. IE Sportsnet, IESportsnet.com, right here live on NBC Sports Radio, 1050 AM, 
seen weekly on KVMD TV Channel 23, Los Angeles. Wow, what a show today, man! Absolutely, man. It was it was a really really good show, man. I'm I'm really excited about. Uh, you know, I, I guess it was just Summit's day. You yeah, know? no. And, and and interestingly, uh, we were it, it wasn't scheduled to be like this. And I know everybody's going like, oh, y'all big on Summit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it wasn't even. You know, we were, we were we were planning to have our guy Cade. What a what a name, Cade Sparks. I mean, I wouldn't even that. There's no nickname needed or anything. That's like a football name. But uh, we were scheduled. We were trying to get our guy in uh, last week. And, uh, and you know, he was out of town, you know, right, you know right. doing, doing MVP things, yeah. you know, <laughs> acting, like a, acting like a real MVP. And, uh, and so we were able to get him on. And then uh, we were, you know, we were finally, we've been talking to the summit program for some time and we were able to get them on. So that was, uh, it, was it was really a uh, good timing. Yeah, because, you know, when you win the MVP of the uh, IE Sports Net 7 on 7, man, a, a lot comes along and with that. It does indeed. It does indeed. Uh, we, man, we have so many uh, hot topics that we need to get into because it was a busy day, a busy weekend in sports. And, uh, you know, we're just going to jump right on in it. Uh, we were talking, uh, uh, again, we, you know, we were out there yesterday at the uh, Mav TV 500 and uh, really, really epic, uh, epic race. Um, it looks like we have a caller. I so. think I think Coach Anthony is is uh, he must have forgot about us. Yeah, he, he must. You know, have. He, yeah. he, he's too big for us now. He, but you he, know, speaking of hot topics, though, uh, we had some MVP awards. Oh yes. So up in the high desert, uh, Serrano's R.J. Peace and Excelsior's uh, Caleb Murphy. They won the uh, CIF, and not not just league. They won CIF award. So wow. So yeah, CIF that's, that's, seven, that's seven something. So, and now Excelsior, where is that? That's up in the high desert. Wow. That's up in the high desert so so uh so peace had uh it, it, what a last name i mean rj peace, peace. i yeah. mean uh, these guys i mean these, these parents are like you know but they're coming from our generation you know what i mean yeah. they're our generation parents like yeah i got you covered yeah so caleb was named the uh so caleb uh no no peace won division four and murphy won division seven fantastic congratulations uh, to those so guys. do we have uh is the coach on the line i do believe so Hey, how you doing? There he, there is. he is. Hey, 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 man. Uh, you know, you're a, you're like a, you're like uh, uh, old school furniture here on 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 IU Sports Net. Whereas <laughs> with the plastic wrap, yeah, on with it. the plastic wrap on it, you're always seen. You know what I mean? And and pe- people know who you are. However, <laughs> if you would be so kind as to introduce yourself, can you introduce yourself to the IU Sports Net audience, please, my brother? Right, Coach Anthony Nichols of Cali Elite Basketball. Uh, I'm like, uh, I'm like the furniture in your living room. That you yeah. walk by, you look at, you can't sit on it, can't touch it, can't touch it. You know, you know, you, and that was like, that was like the unwritten rule. Every, you know, when you when you come from a certain culture, you understand what that unwritten rule is. Uh, Coach Anthony, yeah, man, right, right. Uh, it, it's a, it, again kudos to you and the program. Uh, uh, another uh, big tournament going on over at uh, Players Edge. Kind of let the folks know what's going on this weekend and and, and what, what what they can look forward to today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We've got the uh, King of the Court Classic going on this weekend at the Players' Edge in the beautiful city of Corona, California, representing the IE, where we have uh, several teams from across Southern California coming out to compete to see who is going to be the King of the Court. Man, fantastic. So lots of fun games. No, excuse me. I didn't, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry, please. Are you, you, you're good. I said lots of fun games this weekend. You know, uh, beautiful Southern California basketball at its finest. Absolutely, man, and and you like you said, king of the court, and, and this is uh, how, how many teams do you have there? Is is, is and, and most important is Downey Elite there again? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. Uh, we, we, we we got about uh, we got about sixty two teams uh, uh, out here this weekend, um, and uh, we're uh, Downey Elite is not here, unfortunately. Then I can't make it. Got, uh, I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell this guy, man. Yeah. You know what it was? Was they, Brian? Brian told him that he couldn't suit up this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know what? No, you Coach know. B, we're not going. Yeah, yeah. That's what I told no, him. I said, hey, if I can't be on the team, I don't care for seven to eight year olds. If I can't be on the team, <laughs> you can't come out. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, yeah, yeah. They, I, I, I got a jersey for you, Coach. Oh, there, there you go. There it is. Right there. There you go. Got one. Now, now, we got guys out here from all over. We got uh, B West basketball out here from North Hollywood. Nice. Uh, we've got uh, Excel basketball out here from. Uh, from uh, our Escondido area, so uh, we we got a few teams from across Southern California representing out here. We got Santan Splash out here from uh, Arizona. Um, so uh, it wow, you get teams uh, from Arizona worked. now, man. That's good stuff. How, how how are those Cali Elite teams doing? They're doing well. All teams uh, rocking and rolling. Uh, semifinal games this morning should be a nice round of some championship games. Again, it's the King of the Court Classic. So. Uh, we uh, we represent as as the uh, IE and 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 part of the uh, nation's best out here at Cali Elite. So, uh, not that we don't you know support and 
and and and look for other teams to do well. But you know, got to got to play a home court favorite here. There it is. No, as you should. I saw I, one thing I did see uh, right before I because I was out there hanging out yesterday. I saw uh, and I don't know. I think your if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it was the team that your son plays on. They ran some some kids off the court. It was something like fifty seven to twenty or something like that. It was just like I looked at it and I just wanted to I just wanted to get a coach a big hug and tell him it's gonna be all right. Yeah, I just wanted to console him because you know what I mean because them boys were just running up and I was asking one of the players I said just don't you know they were slapping the backboard I was yeah. like y'all stop that y'all stop that it was just a, you want to do a, the old Saturday Night Live commercial with Michael Jordan when uh, when they was looking in the mirror I am a good person yeah yeah <laughs> I just wanted this I just wanted to show them some motivational videos you know what I mean some something you know what I mean some but, motivation <laughs> you know because it was a, it was a whooping but no but that's what Cali Lee does I mean you know how that, you know how you guys do it man. Yeah, we try to get out here and represent, man. It's a lot of foundational skills teaching these kids to get better, not necessarily about wins and losses, but about teaching them to get better so we can get them uh, into their high school teams and, and, and for the high school guys, about getting them better so they can get into college and yep. putting them out there. And we got a few guys that, that will be uh, will be taking some spots at some Division two and Division three universities uh, this year. And uh, this will be our first high school class that will do that, which is great. And, and you know, and now let's talk about some important stuff right quick, Coach, if you got a minute. You know, you're like my, my basketball expert. You know, your basketball knowledge is, is important. Let me ask you, Coach, were you as disappointed as I when the Lakers picked Russell? What? Uh, you know, I, I told you a long time ago, back the bus, I love. Yeah, <laughs> right. Hey, you hey, know, yeah. true, true, true. I think I would much rather be dealing with Jenny Buss and Phil Jackson right now. Man, you know? tell the truth. Know, but, so you know. wanted Oka for two, or, or was it just me? Yeah, well, you know, look, I understand the NBA is changing its game. They're no longer big men in the game. Everything's yeah. all guards. You know, and I just I can't accept that. I understand how that works. Um, but the reality is is that um, you, you, you need you need a, a guy. You've got and, – and, and everybody says Kobe Bryant is, is past his prime or whatever the case may be. Reality is, dude's 36 years old, and, and, and he's still Time got a go. couple more years of solid basketball, you know, as long as he can stay healthy. Um, I think you got to look at it in different ways. You know, I don't I, – you know, I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you, I, I, not as disappointed because I kind of figured which direction they were going. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, man, it's uh, it's that front office. They're not going to win until they get – until they uh, change all that front office over there. Right, yeah. Right. Well, you know, uh, you know what? I I wasn't that disappointed. To I be was. Candid, to be candid You're a Jordan with Clarkson you. guy. Though. Yeah, I, I, I like you, you know, and I, and I and I you know, you know, I've been talking about Jordan Clarkson the whole time. However, when you get dynamic, this kid is dynamic. Yeah. yeah. I got a chance to watch some tape on this kid, and 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 um and if it translates, you know, to to the NBA, what because this guy's this guy's averaging sixteen points. Uh, uh, six rebounds and six assists a game. Yeah. You know, and they're and they're talking about the kid, the people that have done that in college. Yeah, Danny Ainge, Kenny yeah. Anderson. You know, guys like that that are like that have been. You know, the, the guys that have been trailblazers in the league. So when you see stuff like that. And you know the Lakers worked that kid out twice. Yeah. So that, yeah. that's so, you do so, yeah. so yeah. they they did their due diligence. I mean, as, as best you can do with a guy like Jim Buss in there, because right. Jim right. Buss to me, he, he's, yeah. And I, you know, and I get that they gotta, I get they gotta go through all that. You know, I'll tell you what, man. I was, I had the pleasure. Uh, you know, I, I worked for uh, Sleep Number, uh, and, and I was on a business trip in Minnesota, and a buddy of mine was a district manager in, in Alabama. His frat brothers with Stanley Jackson. So we, we met up with Stanley Jackson while we were out. I got a chance to go to the NBA pre-draft party and, and got a chance to hang out with, with their execs there. Oh, nice. They had those decisions in line where, where they were they knew they were trading for Tyus. Uh, right. That they knew they knew weeks ahead that they were going to trade for Ty, similar to the way that, that the Lakers knew back in the day they were going to trade for Kobe. Exactly. Uh, they knew they were going to have to call Anthony Thomas, and so those things are there. And you know, at the end of the day, you look at it, and and all of this is nothing more than than, than gambling. I mean, you really you you're taking yeah. a chance True. on a guy based on his statistics, and and either he's going to pay off for you and pay off big. Uh, or he's going to bust. And, and I'm hoping that the Lakers come out. You know, it, 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 it's been tough the last couple of years to watch uh, uh, the little brothers uh, hang out and, 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 and can't really get past the first round of the playoffs, which is extremely disappointing. And, you know, speak- uh, so even in, in their best year, they can't. <laughs> and, and speaking of that, Coach, speaking of that, Coach, not to cut you off because we got about 30 seconds. Now, speaking yep. of the, the little brothers, do we go out to DeAndre, DeAndre, DeAndre Jordan? Do we do we let him stay a Clipper so. or do we I go get? I think we have to. I think we have yeah, because you can ruin the Clippers team. Big name guys. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. I think we have to. So yeah, yeah. And long story short, man, these guys are going to do what they got to do. 
Uh, on the youth basketball front, man, we try to do a lot of things different. You know, there's no there's no big name contracts out here. It's just kids grunting and grinding, trying to make it work, trying to make it happen. So hey. for more for more details, King of the Court Classic uh, going on this weekend. We've got the uh, summer sizzle coming up July yes sir uh, uh, 18th and 19th uh, out at Grand Terrace High School. Uh, for more information, you can give me a call nine zero nine seven one seven seven zero three one or check us out on Facebook at Cali Lee Basketball. Or the Instagram at Cali Lee Basketball. There you go, and coach. He, he and coach his own commercial. Exactly, because so. <laughs> the guy's season now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, that's there that. That's go. that. He's you know, we, long he like Laurie season song like, now. You know what I mean? He's acclimated. He, he's good. Uh, hey, hey man, uh, hey, hey, we'll, we'll be out there. Uh, we'll, we'll be out there today. We're really looking forward to it. Can't wait, man. It's going to be something spectacular. Absolutely. We're so happy to have. All right, uh, family. To have, uh, I'll see y'all soon, brother. I'll take yes, sir. Care. Take care. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that was another good show. Yeah, there it is, right there. The music's playing. That means we got to get out of here. Hey, you know, thanks for all our guests. Uh, big up to, to the to the Summit Squad, the, the cheer team. My man Kate Sparks is going down. We'll be at Cali Elite today. It's going to be happening, man. There you go. Yeah. Sportsnet.com. You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM.